beautiful, beautiful boat. This right here is why I like center cockpits. Just a really livable design. This looks like a nav station on a spaceship to me. <laughs> What's up everybody? I've got another awesome 50 foot class family cruiser for you all. Now the Island Packet 485 is one of my favorite boats to safely sail around the world because she boasts a practical layout, excellent build quality, and full keel, which is not something you see very often in more modern model hauls. Even brand new IPs still have that characteristic full keel, although this particular model isn't made anymore, which is a shame. Anyway, remember to do all the usual things, and without further ado, Let's get to the tour. All right, everybody, I just stepped aboard and we're going to go forward first. And I am really excited to tour this boat because I think if I were to choose a monohull for our family, it would be this boat, the Island Packet 485. So with that, Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. As you can see, this boat is in beautiful shape. You've got handholds going all the way forward, nice and high lifelines, solid bulwarks here with a drain alongside for rain. This is a Dexalon, so you've got some pretty large port lights right here. Looking at, at the rig, it is a in-mast furling main but it is a single line system as opposed to a continuous line system. I like these systems a lot better than the continuous line ones. Very nice. Granny bars as well as door aids for ventilation. Plenty of hatches as well on the coach roof. You've got opening stainless steel port lights going forward and then all the way forward. Characteristic of island packets, you've got the boom for the staysail, making the staysail self-tacking. This is a cutter rig, so you've got two head sails continuing forward. Good size bowsprit, but not huge. You've got a dual anchor roller on the front there for options with your ground tackle, roller furling head sail, vertical windlass with deck controls and looking aft on this boat. Just a beautiful, beautiful boat. I just, I love the way this boat looks. I love its lines. Forward compartment, you can see there is a turnbuckle there for the staysail, as well as your chain locker and a locker for any excess line and whatever else you might wanna put up here that's light. So that's that. There is also a water wash down up here as well. It's easy to go aft on these wide side decks here. And you can see that, you know, there's gonna be a lot of space down below with this coach roof coming all the way forward. All lines are gonna be leading into the aft cockpit, making this boat, despite its size, making this boat quite easily short-handed or single-handed. I would say short-handed. You probably don't wanna solo this boat, but with two people, doable and continuing aft takes us all the way to the center cockpit and you guys know I love center cockpits this is one of the only models of island packet that has a center cockpit so that is pretty special and then we're gonna continue all the way aft. we're gonna go back to that center cockpit in a little bit but we want to continue all the way aft to this huge aft deck. One of the highlights of the boat, in my opinion, this is a huge space. The boat carries a lot of its wide beam pretty far back, so that gives you a ton of space back here, as well as storage, 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 and a place to sit. You've got seats on both sides and in the middle. Dinghy davits off the back, and I'm sure you guys saw in the drone footage, there's a lot of solar on the arch back here and your dinghy engine right there. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this storage down here. This is your propane locker. And then in the central aft locker, wow. When you have a ladder down into the storage compartment, you know it gets big down there. And that that is a huge compartment. There's access to equipment and tons of storage down here. I love it. That is awesome. Emergency tiller location right there. 
And then finally, door number three, another nice storage compartment. This right here is why I like center cockpits, right? All this space back here, super nice. Looking forward, two more door aids, a solar vent, opening ports all around, stainless. Your main sheet is right here behind the center cockpit. And then we're gonna continue on. You guys can see there's a very nice enclosure, full enclosure. These can go all the way down. So you can enclose the entire cockpit off to the weather. So that's gonna be great in cold, rainy, windy conditions. On a day like today, nice and warm and windy, you just want the sun off your head, so that's perfect. Now to get into the cockpit, there's a step here and a step there. You do kind of have to crouch into it. You're pretty high off the water. You've got good visibility all the way around. and having this bimini up top certainly helps. Now in the center cockpit to maximize space below deck, there doesn't seem to be any lockers under the settees here. And sitting at the helm seat, great visibility forward and all the way around. And you're nice and safe. I like it. I just went ahead and pulled down the cover to give you guys a better view. But being you know nice and high in this cockpit you guys can see that the bow is actually you know lower than the cockpit so you've got really good visibility you can see over the bow you can see you know over everything there and you've got 360 degree views all around so really nice again even though you know this isn't necessarily the biggest cockpit in the world You've got great visibility, 360 degree views. You can enclose yourself in here. You're safe. You're right in the center of the boat. And then that affords you so much space back there to have a really awesome aft deck. I like it a lot. The pedestal's right here with Raymarine instruments and all lines leading into the cockpit as well as electric winches. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and head down below. I just stepped down below and wow. Super comfortable. Super high quality. Just a really livable design as well. Let's go ahead and Start the bow. So all the way forward, you've got a double island berth up here. Tons of room. Storage to either side, storage above the bed. Lots of room for your clothes. Handholds everywhere you look. Gonna be a head right here, a head with a separate shower. Love it. Separate shower. And then another door. So you can access the head from the forward cabin or you can access the head from the main salon. Now again, why I said this would be a great boat for kids is, look at this. You've got a kid's bunk up here <laughs> with a leeboard. And the bunk can even, you know, kind of go smaller as well as tons of storage down below that. So pretty cool. I think if this were our boat, we'd try to figure out a way to convert this to a double bunk bed. Shouldn't be too, too bad. But I like that. So you've got two cabins up here and a head that's accessible from the main salon. Tons of accommodation. And then take a couple steps up into the main salon here. 
And this is just, you know, this is the best part of the boat, right? Super wide open, except you've got places to hold on to. Everywhere you look, there's places to grab. And then that table folds up and out of the way. So when you want more room, you've got it. Or if you need the table down for a nice big dinner, you can do that as well. Basically mirrored settees on either side. You've got your kind of main settee with a bigger table right here and then like a little smaller coffee table here. Both of these can be easily used as pilot berths and I believe one of these can also pull out and become a double berth as well. Lots of storage both behind and below the settees here and then lots of natural light coming in. This deck salon you can see out at eye level quite easily all around the boat even even forward right there and then here's one of my favorite parts of the boat the forward facing nav station I mean this this looks like a nav station on a spaceship to me <laughs> you've got all of your instruments your electronics and your distribution panels right here at this electronics hub on the boat and then a big chart table opening chart table and it looks to be a super comfortable captain's chair right there as well as more storage and access panels back here very nice again you can you can kind of see forward but I would still I don't want to put a screen right here with a camera but aside from that Pretty perfect. And then over to starboard, there is a galley galley, galley style galley with tons of cold storage. Look at all this cold storage here. Tons of cold storage. Leave an ice maker, a modest size sink for this bow, microwave, pantry, Gimbal, gimbal stove, and then just a good, a good galley that where you can brace on either tack, right? More places to to brace all around, things to hold on to. You can hold on to the counters as well. Storage behind the counters, nice Korean counters with big, big fiddles on them that are molded into the counter. I like it. And then finally, the huge <laughs> huge aft cabin and then a berth that is a thwart ships which is actually better for sleeping while you're at sea so then an island berth that is running lengthwise so very nice island berth queen size island berth super comfortable cabin in here i'm curious what's back here oh yeah you've got an access panel there's an access panel to that huge huge aft locker so you can get to that locker from the aft cabin as well and then on the starboard side tons and tons of storage i mean look at how thick these cabinets are so they, they go real far back hanging lockers storage abound another mirror This is going to be access to the the rear portion of the engine, the transmission, prop shaft, right here. Very nice. And then finally, of course, this is an ensuite cabin with a head and separate shower, a big head and separate shower. Super nice. Super duper. Super nice. Going back forward. Went ahead and removed the stairs and that grants you access to the generator. It does look like there's another panel right here that might get me to the engine. I'm gonna try to figure that out in a second. Yep. So we've got engine access to the front of the engine down here as well. Below the sink, there's other panels you can pull out if you wanna access different parts. So pretty good. Pretty good access all around. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous Polodex walkthrough from Bow to Stern.
So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. My quick thoughts are that this would be a great boat for a family looking to sail safely anywhere they wanted to go. She won't be winning any races, but she's a strong boat that'll handle very well when the going gets tough. The full encapsulated keel is a great thing, especially given how common hitting submerged objects at sea seems to be getting. Anyway, as with all of our videos, the broker contact information and the current asking price will be in the description below. Remember to do all the usual things, and I'll see you in the next one. Are you in the market for a cruising boat? Are you selling one? Or maybe you're like me and you just like looking at cool boats. If any of that sounds like you and given that you're watching this video, I'd bet that it does. I'm excited to tell you about something that we've been working on behind the scenes for a while now. We've just soft launched with the help of our friends at Loma Tech, a new website slash marketplace specific to affordable cruising yachts. Meaning on this site, you can list your boat, buy a boat and or window shop for boats just like the ones we film in our tours. You can go on there now and just like how we don't charge to film the tours we're already doing, list your cruising boat for free and get access to the Learning the Lines community of potential buyers. We wanted to do this because quite frankly, there's too many cool cruising yachts out there and not enough time for us to film all of them. So we created a marketplace for unique, affordable cruising boats of which to the best of my knowledge, no great options currently exist for this very specific niche. What do you have to lose? Check out the link in the description to join the community.